So we're back with another um, Keurig review. If you've been paying attention and saw our last video, you might be a little bit confused. Um, so what happened is I ordered this originally, um, and it's the Keurig K Duo. That's it, Keurig K Duo. Um, paid $111 for it. Um, we got it, we did a review on it, or opened it up, started using it, was real happy with it. Um, didn't really, it didn't occur to me that there was an issue with the product. So on our last video, uh, somebody commented and, and said, hey, you know, you said in your video it's not programmable, but Amazon says that it is. I started doing a little research and lo and behold, the, uh, the company that fulfilled the order charged me for this model, but sent us an essentials model. Um, and so I'm very thankful for that person for commenting um, so Amazon's made it right. We've got the right product now, assuming the right ones in the box. Um, now there's absolutely nothing wrong with the essentials. It's a great machine. Um, really happy with it. Yeah, we really liked it. Um, Till we found we paid too much for it. <laughs> you know, it's like a $65, $75 machine, and this is now a $120-some-dollar machine. Um, so I'm just going to kind of read off here what it can do. We'll unbox it. And then we're going to use it for a while and, and then we'll do another video on review and kind of a how-to. Um, so the K-Duo, it takes cups like uh, K-Cups, like a normal Keurig does and you can use your own and put grounds in here if you want to. Um, but it also has a traditional coffee maker side so you can use grounds with a filter. Um, we have a reusable filter. We bought this um, that works really well. Um, that'll be linked. We'll link that. I'll relink this one again. <laughs> um, and so the the essentials, it was it was literally just no frills, put water in it, put coffee in it, push buttons, and it worked. Um, this one has uh, an option so you can do a strong brew. So the Keurig 2.0 was the first one to come out with that, and I think what it does is it it slows the flow of water down so there's more exchange with the grounds. Um, so it has that. Um, this has more brew sizes than the essentials. This has a six cup for the pot size or the craft size, and it has a six ounce, where the essentials just had a eight, 10, and 12. Um, the water reservoir is the same. The craft's the same. The pause pour is the same. So when this is brewing, you can pull out and, and serve yourself without it dripping all over the place. And then the key with this one is it's programmable. So you can actually set this up and it will have your coffee brewed for you when you come downstairs in the mornings. So um, that's gonna be a really key feature, I think, for me, because uh, I get up really early and it'd be nice to have the coffee waiting. So without further ado, what's in the box? So this is gonna be your quick start guide You have some protective packaging. Protective cover. And you have the machine itself. This is um, very similar to the essential. Uh, but it is a bit different. This is blockier. It's squared off. Um, it comes taped off, so it's protected during shipping. So is this one not as um, compact as the other one then? It looks a little bigger. I think it's a little bit bigger because it's blockier, where the other one was had like yeah. you know, rounded, so it didn't take up quite as much uh, space. But I think the base is the same size, and I think the height is the same size. All right, so here's your reservoir. Um, the other one, again, it was rounded more and it had a clear top, but it's the same size. Um, I do like the reservoir. It goes on real easy. Um, so this is a little bit different. Oh, so that flips up instead of sliding out. Right, and so that was one of the complaints 
about the other one is that it had a slide out for the filter and it came all the way out and sometimes it was an absolute bear to get it back in and other times it went in just fine so this is um that, Upgrade. that yeah that takes care of that issue apparently mm -hmm. um so that's where your cup goes if you know anything about keurigs and then uh, the nice feature on the other one and this one is you can take that out and it'll actually uh, fit a travel fit size. a travel cup which um the older models, at least the ones we had, did not. So you can just brew right into your travel mug and go. This was the main difference, and after I looked at the photo I could tell. So the Essentials just had a plastic cover and the buttons were over here. And so this has a digital display. Um, so it has your auto, you can set your time there. There's your strong button, then your cups, and your K-cup or your carafe. Um, so yeah, it does look, it, it actually looks cons not considerably different, but there are some major differences that I really feel stupid I didn't uh, catch. I didn't catch. <laughs> but uh, so we'll get this cleaned out and I could definitely use a cup of coffee and we'll use it, we'll use this for a couple of weeks and then uh, add, let's, on, add on to the video. Let you know what we think of it oh. compared to the other one. And just oh. show, show this real quick. The carafe. Yeah. You know, carafe, coffee pot, whatever you want to say. Yep, looks pretty much exactly the same as the other one, yeah. I think. My guess is it is exactly the same. So there you go. Okay, so we've been using this for about two weeks now, um, so we can't speak to longevity of it, but we can talk about the function and what we like or don't like. Um, so I'll just start from the beginning. As far as setup goes, um, and you guys can follow if you get this you can follow the, the directions on how to clean it but uh, so when you first plug it in you need to set the time and that's pretty easy you just do the hours and minutes and then this is flashing so that sets the clock and so um, the good thing about this model is that uh, it'll it'll brew a cup on a time that you set, but that only does it on the carafe So you can't set it to to brew a, a single cup at, at five in the morning So it's it's there when you get up you have to do it on this side and that's pretty easy um, You just hit auto Pick your time so five and it doesn't say p.m. So that's you know five in the morning and then you confirm and it's asking uh, how many cups you want to brew so you pick whatever you know you have to have the water in there um, I will say if you wanted four cups you would only fill it up to about where the four cup line would be um, but six six and up and then it asks you to confirm by flashing and then the clocks going um, and or the the clock symbols there and so that tells you that you have a uh, pot ready to brew at a certain time. Now, uh, the good thing about this is even when it's set, now you can't brew a pot of coffee in between, but you can still brew single cups. So if I wanna set it at five, but then I decide I want a cup of coffee, I can still use a single cup and it doesn't do anything um, for the pot, that you have to make sure you refill the reservoir up to the number of cups that you want. So you can't brew a carafe if you have a timer set. Correct. Okay. If you want to cancel it, you just hit auto again and you see that the uh, the little clock symbol went away. So, um, some differences between this and the, the Essentials model is that, um, the, other than you get the programming that you can do, you set the time. Um, it also has a strong function and I assume what that does is it either puts the water through more slowly or changes the pattern which it sprays into the coffee um, but that first came out on the Keurig 2.0 and I like that function because we have that for our trailer um, so you can you can make it stronger and then it has an option for the six cups um, and the other one just has eight, ten, and twelve and so that's that's um, 
really about six the Six cups or six ounces, right? Yeah, six cups or six ounce drink, depending if you're doing a carafe or a, a cup. So if you want to do a single serve, you drop the pot in, turn it on, tell it you want to do the cup. I want to do it strong and I like a big cup of coffee and then it, it asks you to confirm. So at this point you can walk away and once it's warm, once it's heated up, it'll go ahead and brew, which is nice because the original Keurigs, they wouldn't let you, um, they would make you push the start button after it was warm, heated up. So you had to sit there and wait for it to heat up and then push the button and this way you can just set it and go. You know, we've had this turned on um, just before now, so that's why it brewed so quickly. Okay, so that's it for the single cup. Um, and I know we showed it when we unboxed it, but if you have a travel mug, it'll fit under there, which is a nice feature. So um, if you want to do a, uh, a pot of coffee, you can put a normal filter in there. Like a, you know, you would a, an old school coffee maker. We use this reusable basket, which works really nice. You put in about a, maybe over a little bit over a tablespoon a cup. You know, so you'd put that in there. And then you just hit the carafe. And I want six cups of coffee. And you hit start. And again, you could walk off it'll warm up and once it's warmed up it'll start to brew so um one of the one of the drawbacks to this is that uh it it brews a little bit slower than like your standard coffee pot um now this one is different than the essentials model so the essentials model would um it would pull pull water into the reservoir heat it up and then pour it into the carafe and then once it was empty it would stop pull more water, heat it up, pour it, so it took this really long time. What this one does is it slowly feeds uh, water through it, like more like a traditional uh, coffee maker. And so this brews a little bit faster, um, which is nice. It doesn't completely stop, refill its reservoir, and then pour. It, it does it all continuously. So uh, you have a pot of coffee. You're gonna be drinking it all morning. So when it's done, with the carafe, the carafe symbol will turn red. So that tells you that the warming plate is on and the warming plate stays on for two hours and then it automatically turns itself off. Um, another thing, another feature, um, the, the, the lower model of this, um, the light comes on when it needs water. Um, this one says it on the screen. So it tells you if it won't do anything until you put more water in it. So some folks, they like to drink a pot of coffee throughout the entire day, and so they want the warming plate to stay on. Well, this one shuts off after two hours. But if you want to extend it, turn the machine back on, and you hold the button, the craft button down, until the light comes back on. And so it's set now for another two hours. So every two hours it turns itself off, but if you still want it to warm your coffee, you just turn it back on by holding the button down. And that also works for the essentials model. Um, if you hold the craft button on um, for, for a couple of seconds, it'll turn the warming plate on. So that's the, um, that's it for the function. Um, I like, I like the look of this. You know, it's a little more industrial, I think. Um, I like to have more options. Um, I really like that you can program this. So for me, I can have a pot of coffee waiting for me when I get up in the morning before I go to work. Um, as I said before, I like to use the strong feature. I like that it has the six cup or six ounce option. Um, so those are really nice. The, the reservoir is really easy to handle. Um, so it has these you know, it has these slots back here that you can actually reach over the machine and get your fingers in. And then you just put it back in. It's not something you have to figure out. It's not a puzzle. It just goes back in really easy. Um, there's really not a whole lot I don't like. Um, I think that it would be better that once you 
program the coffee to brew at a certain time if you could brew cups. So let's say that 10 in the morning, I program it to, to brew the next morning. Well, I would like to be able to brew a pot throughout the day without having to reset everything. Is it, it is nice to, that you can brew the single pods, but I wish they would have done that with both because you have to refill the, raw, the reservoir anyway. So it's not like you don't have to do work to reset it. Um, that's a minor inconvenience. You could just, re, you know, just reprogram it to go. Um, it would be nice if this brewed a little faster, but honestly, that's probably on par with the standard, standard coffee maker. This, the way this is designed, so on the, uh, the lower model, there's a tray that slides out. And sometimes it'll go back in and sometimes it won't. I mean, I even kind of got underneath it and tried to see what was wrong. Um, I couldn't quite figure it out and it, it just, it just some, it's something that, that fights people. Um, and we've heard that on the comments. Um, so this, the way this is designed is really nice. You just open it up, do what you gotta do. That just goes back in there and you're on your way. So Keurigs are great. They grew, they brew superior coffee as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is to me the best of both worlds. You know, so if I know I'm gonna be home and like working on a project, I can set, I can brew a, a cup. Uh, this will probably use more for when we have guests because all our guests drink coffee and brewing single cup after single cup after single cup becomes to be a little tedious. So this is going to be really nice. And um, you know, the single, the single serve works as it always does with the Keurig. And I, again, I said it before, but I really like that that comes out and you can put a travel mug under there. So, um, how do you like it? I like it a lot. I like I, you. Ooh, I like you too. I like the essentials though, too. And I think that's important to, to say is there was nothing necessarily wrong with that one. That was just straight simple. Yeah. Um, and honestly, you know, so I always think about kind of being zombied out in the morning. You're stumbling around trying to get woke up. That one was just user friendly and turn it on, yeah. put a cup in, hit basically push the the 12 ounce button and walk off, and then it brews your coffee for you. So in a way, that one's actually almost use, easier to use than this one. In that regard, yes. Yeah. This takes this takes more steps to get to a cup of coffee or a pot of coffee. But this one is nice in that it is programmable. I like like he pointed out the fact that you can brew strong and that there's more cup options and then of course this up here which is an issue with the other one is is a lot nicer so i would say this one overall is probably less hassle as far as you know aggravation just, just that in and of yeah, itself just if you're this. If you're brewing pots of coffee, you, you, that other one gets would get to be a pain. Yeah, whereas this is just easy. But yeah, I think they're both good. But this is the one that we originally originally ordered. So it's nice to get what we actually ordered. And I'm happy with this one too. But as I said, I was happy with the other one also. It had a couple little hiccups, but it was also cheaper. So it all just kind of depends on what options you're looking for and, you know, what things you want in a coffee maker. And if something like the other one that has the drawer that gets stuck occasionally is gonna drive you crazy. Or not being able to program. Or not being able to that, program. That is hands down the major difference. That is the biggest difference, not being able to program on the other one, whereas you can on this one, so. Now I will say though too, this one's a little bit higher. So any Keurig does not fit well underneath kitchen cabinets. Yeah. That's true. Um, this one is even worse than the essentials. Um, so keep in mind with your kitchen cabinet. Huh? Yeah, and again, I, I mean, I built the kitchen cabinet as a coffee station, so I actually set it up higher. And if this was pushed back underneath it, I think it would still be a pain at least to get the water in and out. So, but that's, that's the same for all Keurigs, as far yeah. as I know, except maybe the little single serve that are about that tall. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just that's just the nature of these, and I, honestly, that's true for a standard coffee pot anyway. But I did want to mention that that this is this is probably an inch taller mm. than the other one. But overall, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm not sorry we bought it. 
But we, we've had Keurigs for what, over a decade now, so we kind of like our Keurigs anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I would say this is definitely a good one. If you are looking for something that does beyond just the single serve cups that the traditional Keurigs do, this is nice having that coffee pot. And like he said, it'll be really nice when we have company who are going through a ton of coffee to have that pot option. But that is our review of the Keurig K-Duo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.